a series of three short demos to show you how we can record and play back with very high precision. Then we will do a more interesting test case that will do some logic and transactions. And then finally, we will show you how we can record something that has very high precision to it. So you can see we have a video feed and we're looking at the table here in Mountain View. We have two devices. One is the iPad and the other one is the iPod Touch. And both of these devices are running the SOSTA iOS device agent. The agent's purpose is to be able to launch applications that you want to test. So you don't have to launch them manually and you can connect this solution to a continuous integration framework. And the second purpose is that it can host, you know, a, a UI web view to test web applications. But today we want to show you how we can test native iOS applications and we think that it should be a pretty cool demo. So on the left side of the screen you see CloudTest. CloudTest is a web application that allows you to do functional test automation for um, web browsers. It also does load testing and performance testing where we do a lot of business. And now it can do mobile tests, uh, functional test automation for mobile devices. And so when we hit the record button, you will see that the device agent is actually going to launch the application that we are testing. This is a test application that we have built here. And you see that everything that Tana does uh, on the screen in terms of clicking and typing and, you know, logging in, swiping up, uh, swiping down, and then clicking on elements, swiping left, swiping right, all of those gestures are getting captured immediately into the clip that we are building. The clip is essentially the test case that you are building. And so let's make this a very quick demo. You can see that we can record directly from the charge, but you can see that we can take the device completely out and then let's play back to this. And you can see even though the device is out, it's not connected to any wires or anything, again, the device agent is going to launch the application on the device and the test is getting played back at exactly the same way, the same speed, and everything that Tana did before. So uh, we can capture, you know, the test directly on the device, which is really the most accurate way of capturing what you're doing, just using the application as you uh, always use it. And uh, you can always play it back at exactly the same way that you played it back. So now let's look at a bit more advanced test case. You know, Cloud Test, the clip editor, is essentially a visual programming language. But even though it's a visual programming language, it has all of the constructs that you need to create a full-blown, uh, you know, uh, test. Test clips within clips. It's a really full-blown visual programming language. That with it, you can do anything you can do in code. So what Tana is doing right now is she's selecting a couple of messages and putting them inside a transaction. This would allow us to basically measure the time that this transaction took, basically how long did it take us to perform these messages. Now this is important because in CloudTest you can run functional test automation for mobile devices or browsers alongside or in the same composition with a load test. So now you can see how the load that we're putting on your website from you know many locations around the world will also change the performance of mobile applications out there on real mobile devices. So let's go ahead and run this test. Again, we open the clip that we just edited in the composition editor. This is the GarageBand-like UI that allows us to lay out tests on tracks and play them in parallel from multiple. It's getting played back on the iPad at exactly the same uh, way that it was written and everything is done without any human intervention, um, including launching the app, which is important to us to put in, in there so that we and our customers can use this for continuous integration environments. So the third demo we wanted to show you is uh, how we actually do precision recording and playback. And this is something incredibly unique that Tana came up with as she developed this feature and we're so excited about it. So we are going to launch another application and this application is going to have three simple squares on the screen. And what we're going to do with that is we're going to capture some pinches to zoom in and out. We're also going to capture some panning around of elements on the screen. The unique thing we're doing is because we're capturing these from inside the application, we can capture not just the start and end position of each element or of each gesture, we can capture the entire gesture in terms of its precision, in terms of the speed that it took. And if Tana wants to quickly show you all of the information that we're capturing on the gesture, you can see that we capture a vast array of coordinates. Now these are just not screen coordinates in terms of optical recognition or anything like that. These are essentially the coordinates of that element. So we can capture it from within that element with the highest precision possible. 
Now what's really cool about this is that we can also play it back at exactly the same speed, velocity, and precision that you did when you actually uh, recorded these gestures. So we can on the iPad device and you'll notice on the WebEx or go to meeting, you can see that the pinches and the panning that Tana did are occurring at exactly the same speed, velocity that she was doing before. So and it gives us, you know, um, a lot of advantages in terms of functional test automation for anything from gaming or any other application that is built and needs to use precision. Finally, we wanted to show you another quick demo of um, a composition that has multiple tracks. One track is set to play on the iPad and the other one is set to play on the iPod Touch. And you can see that one composition, if the application is universal, meaning it's the same application for the iPad and the iPhone, can actually play on multiple devices. And again, there's no tethering required to these devices. There's no jailbreaking required to these devices. You can see that we can hold the device in our hand and the test continues to execute exactly like it did when you recorded it with exactly the same level of precision. And now the test is over. We're back to the iOS device agent that is then ready to launch another test, perhaps as part of your continuous integration framework. So this really is the, the, the set of short